Hello, this is Tech Toolbox again, and we're talking about GarageBand. First of all, there's many tracks that you can use, such as Male Basic, Female Basic, Announcers, anything you want. Uh, gospel Choir, Helium Breath, Live Performance, Male Basic, Male Dance Vocals, Male R&B Vocals, Male Rock Vocals, Male Speech, Megaphone, and Mouse Voice, Pop Vocals, and that's just a few to name. So, give me a second and I will show them off. Here we have Here we ambient, have vocals, ambient vocals, vocals, Epic Diva, and, and these are only a few of my favorites. And I'll do one more just to show you something cool. This is called Deeper Vocals. Makes me sound like Darth Vader, right? Luke, I am your father. I know that's really neat, huh? So that was just a taste of many of the different voices that you can use on here. And um, so then we'll go uh, up to... Uh, drums, and many other instruments. So there are many instruments that you can use on here, either software loops that they have. They have thousands of those. If you don't want a software loop, they have other things such as um, you can actually record with either an external microphone like this or a internal microphone um, that would be included with your Mac. Um, there's also, um, singing you can do with this, um, you can hook up a MIDI device, such as a keyboard or something like that, and play, that would hook up, I believe, into your USB, and then there's many other things like, uh, virtual keyboards on your screen, which you can actually play with the keyboard on your computer. Um, you have effects as you're playing, you have bass you can use you can use the line in jack like I'm using right now um to record this uh the line in jack you can use for electric guitar you can hook up uh anything that has a pickup in it you can basically hook up to this just do not overdrive your system that's what I have to be careful of when I'm using my sure mixer because if I overdrive my system uh my audio card will um die and then I won't have one so you got to be very careful with that. Uh, you have podcasting things. Um, you have effects for your voices. Uh, drum effects. Bass effects. Um, band instruments to choose from. And acoustic guitar effects. Uh, then you have voices and many different things. So... You should really check out GarageBand, and this is only GarageBand 09, I believe I'm using. So, if you go with GarageBand um, 11, you really need to check that out. That is very impressive. GarageBand 11 has so many more features, such as stomp box effects. There's, like, double the amount, and uh, many other things. So, I very much encourage you to check out GarageBand. And another thing I'll just throw out there is, if you don't have a Mac... You can use Audacity. They have a Mac and a PC version, but they only keep up with the PC version anymore. Um, so the Mac version is an older version, and the PC version is brand new. They have a beta version, and then they have the normal version. Um, for all you people that don't know what a beta is, I wouldn't suggest downloading it because that's just a test. They usually do that those tests for months or years. So just download the normal version. And you're going to also have to download, it'll tell you, when you try to export your song, voice, whatever, um, into like an iTunes thing or Windows Media Player, you're going to have to download, uh, I think it's a lame downloader it's called. You have to use that, otherwise it won't let you. But you can use Audacity, you can use many other programs, but I would suggest GarageBand. Thanks for listening, and as always, subscribe. See you next time. This is Tech Toolbox signing off. Goodbye.